Good evening. We begin tonight with a live look at the New York skyline on this eve before the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Thanks for being here for KION News at 11. I'm Veronica Macias. Well, for the first time since 2003, a man from Pebble Beach, Jack Grancolas, has traveled to the Flight 93 National Memorial in Pennsylvania to mark the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Jack recently shared his story from his home, and KION's Lisa Principe shares it with us tonight. The 40 passengers and crew aboard Flight 93 were often called the heroes of 9-11, helping to stop an attack on the U.S. Capitol. For Jack Grancolis, it's personal. He lost his wife and unborn child on that flight. And 20 years later, he's taking the time to look back on their memory. Every year it's a gut punch. There's no question. It's, uh, you know, we'll live with the scars the rest of our lives. 20 years later, Jack Rancolis still remembers waking up that fateful morning. He didn't know it yet, but his entire life had changed. Across the country, two planes had hit the World Trade Center. You have a second plane into the other tower. 34 minutes later, the Pentagon pierced and in flames, and United Airlines Flight 93 was headed toward the U.S. Capitol. You got United 93? But the passengers and crew of Flight 93 fought back and drove the plane into an empty field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. All 40 people aboard the flight died that morning, including Jack's wife, Lauren Grancolis. She was three months pregnant with their first child. While Jack was sleeping, Lauren had called twice, leaving two voicemails. The first was good news. She was taking an earlier flight home from New Jersey to San Francisco. The second time, Lauren called from the plane. It would be the last time he would ever hear her voice. The first few years going back to the memorial was important to be there, to be at the site. But it was extremely difficult and, and, and hard to take. And for my own health, I decided I would not return for the memorial anniversary until it was completed. Ironically, it's completed and it's the 20th anniversary. They coincide. For years after, Jack would spend September 11th doing things Lauren loved, like going for a bike ride or taking a quiet walk on the beach. And then I would end the day by going down to her Lauren place in 4th Street and leave some flowers and notes and read the notes and the flowers that other people had left in her memory. And I think that tranquility helped me get through that, that mounting pressure and, and anxiety of, of what they call an anniversary. Friday night, 40 lanterns carried by family members and friends were placed below the names of each of the passengers and crew members of Flight 93. And now on the 20th anniversary, Grant Colas says he wants Americans to remember how the country came together right after 9-11. And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. This country was united from sea to shining sea. And today, maybe now would be a good time to let the divisiveness drop, let the knee-jerk fiddle drop. Just take a minute to pause and deep, look deep into your own soul. And Jack is writing a book about the grieving process, including the loss of his unborn child. It's set to be released in April when his child would have turned 20 years old. Veronica. Thank you, Lisa.